Hello everybody, this is Drinking Gamer here to kick off basically the semi-final of the Excellent Eggs Tournament. And yes, we have our three lovely brackets here. Here is how it will work. So we will have three matches. All of these guys will play each other once. So you can see the order here. So we'll have the Lightning Egg against the Blue Egg first. Then the blue egg going up against the red egg. And then the red egg versus the lightning egg. And whichever one of these guys has the most points will go through to the final. I should point out that if one of these teams gets enough points to get through with a match to spare, then I won't do that match. Or maybe I could do that match in like a bonus clip. If you would like to see that. So say, say for example the blue egg wins both of these matches. Then there is literally no point in doing this matchup because... The blue egg is already through. But I don't I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're in for some very tight contests. Especially in this session. And this could be a, ve it'll be a very tough match for the blue egg. Because I know it's two dinosaurs are water dinosaurs. So it's going to be a very tough match for the blue egg. But without further ado. Let's get on with that match. So yeah. If you, if you still don't understand how the table thing works. Just watch the finale of the lightning tournament. It's basically that. The lightning egg drawing good again. It's Storacosaurus. Hey, last time they got Pentaceratops. This time it's Storacosaurus. And that's very bad for the for the blue egg because, as I said, it's got two water dinosaurs. Oh, it's got Ankyceratops. Wait, didn't you get Ankyceratops last time? No, I think that was the uh, green egg that the lightning egg knocked out. But it's Ankyceratops back at it again. Wow, Lightning Egg is getting some really good dinosaurs. Skip. Alright, let's have a look. Okay, it does have Amplosaurus. The Blue Egg, I suspected it would. So, up first is Amplosaurus for the Blue Egg. And it does have Futaba Cannon. So maybe this type advantage, disadvantage might not be so bad. And, as for Dino number two, it's Joboria. Well, don't underestimate water dinosaurs. They can still do the damage. Still got that shockwave support effect as a possible factor. But yeah, you would have to say that the lightning egg is the favourite here. I just realised they both drew a gold and a silver. So we could be in for a treat. Oh, sound, why are you doing this to me? Boosh! Ampelosaurus strikes back. It's a recovery to come as well. I don't know how much it's going to recover, but oh well. Oh, it's a stomping hammer. Stompy, stompy, stomp. Wow, that was a pitiful amount of damage. Although, recovery did do a good job and gave Ampelosaurus the lead. Well, it had the lead, but it doesn't have it anymore. Because Stracosaurus gets off a lightning strike. Ooh, a crucial swap this could be for Ampelosaurus. Get him out of there. Right, will Storacosaurus get his swap out? The answer to that is yes. Both of our golds managing to get out of there, leaving it to the silvers. But it is the lightning egg that has the lead. Oh, I don't know, actually. It's, it's, it's kind of even. Oh, that's a tie. I don't know what type this Ankyceratops is. Okay, it's definitely charge type. <laughs> oh yeah, well it also has tie attack as well, so Ankyceratops is a pretty good dinosaur to draw. Boom. Oh, the cat, the Jobori is gone. Ankyceratops taking no prisoners. And the Ampelosaurus will also get hit. The, the blue egg is in big trouble now.
Oh, does get a hit. Does get a hit off on Ankyceratops. Can Ankyceratops finish the job? Oh, we get a hit. Yeah, I think Ankyceratops is going to do it. The lightning egg. Getting a two pretty decent dinosaurs. And the blue egg getting two water dinosaurs. Recipe for disaster for the blue egg. Although, this Ampelosaur is not going down without a fight. Can it take out one of them? Nope, nope, won't even take out one of them. A 2-0 win for, for the Lightning Egg. <laughs> and I should point out that if these guys are level at the end of this, that could be crucial. Well, it is three points for the Lightning Egg and nothing for the Water Egg. On to our second match, which again is the Blue Egg going up against the Red Egg. Well, this is going to be an interesting match. At first, in the red corner, for the blue egg, that should really be in the blue corner. We have dealt the Dromius, and that's a pretty good one for the blue egg, because it's got the hurricane beat. But, but, you don't know what the red egg's got yet. Wow, that is pretty good, actually. And, returning from the first match, it's Ampelosaurus. Wow, blue egg getting really lucky with the Ampelosaurus. And it should fare better this time because there's no lightning dinosaurs for the red egg. So that's a pretty decent team there. However, in the blue corner for the red egg that should really be in the red corner, it's Albertosaurus and it's not what I thought it was because I thought it was going to be a T-Rex. However, this Albertosaurus will have the tight advantage over the Delta Dromius. So it's still a problem, problematic dino. And backing up the Albertosaurus, it's Majungasaurus. Well, we saw how effective Majungasaurus was for the wind dinosaurs. For the wind egg, can it do the job for the red egg? Okay, this one's... I'm hoping this one will be a very close match. If the blue egg loses this, then he is pretty much out of the tournament. The blue egg... Must win this match to stay in it. That's oh, stop lagging. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to look at the settings. Well, this is just the start the red egg would want. Getting off that stomping hammer. Ooh, I'm never stomping hammer. This is the perfect start for the blue egg. Can the Albertosaurus strike back, however? Oh, he does! And he gets a crit! This is going to do damage! And the Albertosaurus will be able to swap out! Oh, wow! That did loads of damage! And in comes Majungasaurus! Oh, the Delta Dromius couldn't get the swap out. And I think is going down. The Red Egg turning this match around. Boosh. And boosh. Amplosaurus get a cheeky little cheeky hit there. Wow, all of a sudden, the Red Egg is in the lead. How costly could that be? Okay, yeah, the red eggs turn into screw. Okay, if the Amplosaurus can kill this Majungasaurus relatively quick, then the blue egg still has a chance because the, the Albertosaurus has a tight disadvantage. Oh, here comes a support effect. Not seen too many of these in this tournament. Yeah, I think that's it now. The blue egg, I think. His time is up in this tournament. Choo. 
Yep, there it is. Three ties in a row, enough for the Majungasaurus to clean house, finish off the Ampelosaurus, and get the 2-0 win for the rare deck. And unfortunately, that'll be all she wrote for the blue egg in this tournament, as they will, they will not be able to qualify to the final. Given, was, given all that, this next matchup is the big one. Whoever wins this next match will go through to the final, and whoever loses will be going home. I'm not going to lie, but I think the red egg might have the exact same team. <laughs> right, let's find out. Oh my god, it's the, it might be the exact same team. Because at first, for the red egg, it is Albertosaurus again. Okay, we can skip that. We've already seen the moves. I'm back. Oh. That's rigged. Dude, that's rigged. Three friggin' red egg got the two same dinosaurs again. And and take note, there are multiple wind dinosaurs and multiple fire dinosaurs in this egg. Because you have a T-Rex and a Frozen as well. Oh my god, the lightning egg. What what is the luck with the lightning egg? It's drawn Pentaceratops again. Dude, this is rigged! This is this, this is legit rigged! The friggin' Pentaceratops is drawing all the golds! Okay, let's see what it's backed up by. Wow. For an egg tournament, this isn't very random, is it? <laughs> Anky Ceratops coming back into it. Well, we should be in for an exciting match. Honestly, the lightning egg is drawing some absolute beauties. Oh, I, I hate I hate this feel because it's the laggiest. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. You can see, oh my god, oh my god, it's horrific! <laughs> well, let's hope that doesn't take away what should be an epic match. And it is the Pentaceratops getting the first hit. Oh wow, I did loads of damage. Can Albertosaurus swap out again? Oh, he can't this time! Not this time! It's Pentaceratops getting a hit! Oh, he kills it! Okay. Oh, that's right, this Pentas Hunter type. So it's going to do an arson of damage. And it'll do an arson of damage to this Majungasaurus. The Lightning Egg. Um, lightning strikes with the Lightning Egg. I couldn't think of something cool to say. Oh, hang on. Majungasaurus getting a hit there. Getting a crit. I think the Pentaceratops is a bit salty about the Lightning Tournament because it lost the f in the first round. Making up for it here for the Lightning Egg. Oh, an electric charge as well. You know what that means. One hit from this Pentaceratops and it should be game over for Majungasaurus. Oh, he gets a crit though. He gets a crit. That could be a crucial crit there. Stops the Hunter type effect since Pentaceratops will have less health. Can you get a cheap hit on Ankyceratops? Nope. Oh, he's going to swap into Ankyceratops. But I think that is irrelevant at this point because the Pentaceratops might have killed the Jungasaurus. Yep, it has. Wow. Another convincing victory for the lightning egg and it has defeated all the color eggs it knocked out the green egg in the first round and it's beaten the red and the blue egg to get to the final well played to the lightning egg and the lightning egg is the first egg to make it to the final scrambling all the color eggs in the process right well there's no need to look at the table or anything because well we already know that the lightning egg is fruit wasn't a very random egg tournament video this time was it they seem to draw the same dinosaurs, so I have to look into that. Like, off the top of my head, I know that the egg... I'm pretty sure the barcodes on all the egg cards are the same. But anyway, that's going to end this session here, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell. Make sure you don't miss out on any more excellent tournament videos. And until then, this is Trainer Gamer, signing out.